Columbia, go ahead, please. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Oh, my God. I just, I guess I was born at the wrong time. You, uh, you, you, were you, uh, 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 as the same as me, huh? Yeah. You probably heard me when I said, I think I need a fibrillator. Right, right. What is going yeah. on? They said they got a rise in the production studio listing, yes. <laughs> uh, they were very titillated, so to speak. Oh, man. Yeah. You know, what I really wanted to talk about, you and a caller talked about Dr. King yesterday. What would he, uh... What would he be pleased with? What would he be disappointed with? Yes. And I think he would be very disappointed with uh, African Americans giving up the fight uh, for for freedom and equality. Uh, you know, they just give up. They just stop. Uh, the guy that you were talking with sounded like a good example of what uh, African Americans, uh, you know, has quit. It's almost like watching the smokers give up their rights. Right. And, uh, like, like you know, it's a, and you had a caller today sound like a, a, a African-American, southern-born uh, gentleman talking about the liberals. And, uh, you know, he just, and how good things were years ago. I mean... Things were not good for African Americans years ago. Where was he living? He, he should know that. But, you know, they get on there and they talk, they talk, and uh, they think they're uh, conservatives and they just wannabes. So, you know, why don't they... Well, better to be a wannabe successful than wannabe unemployed. Oh. Right? What'd you say? Didn't hear that. Well, you were, you were talking about, you know, how these uh, certain people sounded like wannabes and conservatives, but I said certainly it's better to be wannabe successful than wannabe unemployed. Well, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all right to dream, you know, that, uh, you know, you're, you're this and you're that, but you know better than anyone else. Uh, just like uh, Michael Jackson, you should seen the crowd out there, Mr. Chizik, you would have been amazed that the people was at the arrangement. Uh, uh, he, he was 20, minute late, 20 minutes late, the judge read him the riot act. Hey, our local judge, she was two and a half hours late. The reason he was late, because there's so many people uh, getting in his way. He couldn't even get out of the city because everybody wanted to shake his hand or get into the car. There was thousands of people there. Sort of, sort of makes you feel real good about child molesting, doesn't it? What is this? A, is this a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. I'll have to watch it more closely. Thank you, my friend. Got to move on. Hi, you're on the air. Go ahead, please. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm, I'm recovering. This is about your production. Uh, you know, if you had his hair down from a certain angle, you wouldn't be able to know one way or the other between him and his wife, would you? He's uh, kind of a sweet guy. I know he is. Anyhow, uh, the Middle Ages, Dark Ages and that kind of stuff, I just wanted to touch base with that because I'm staying all the way from that nice lady, and she can call every day as far as I'm concerned. But very entertaining. Very entertaining. Very, very beautiful woman, sounds like. <clears throat> um... You think that, uh, what was your def? I'll give you my definitions and why I, like, for example, uh, uh, what was it, was it Dark Ages, Enlightenment? Is that what we were talking about? Uh, Dark Ages, Renaissance, Middle Ages. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. The Dark Ages, okay, would you say, I think the Dark Ages, in my opinion, were up to the Magna Carta, and then uh, the Renaissance really began Martin Luther, ironically, uh, on King's uh, birthday weekend, we would discuss Martin Luther, uh, started the Luther, the Protestant, and he pro the, 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 you know, obviously the Catholic Church, you know. Uh, well, you, you were, we're in the same ballpark. Uh, uh, the fall of Rome, 7th century, the world's plunged into the Dark Ages, coming out uh, a beginning with the Crusades, following the Crusades, you have your Renaissance, um, Middle Ages in there, but, but he was thinking that the Middle Ages came before the Renaissance, and they are very much associated together. Well, anyhow, you're basically what happened is, is the Dark Ages is when they didn't want free
free thinkers like Galileo and, you know, uh, uh, Copernicus, you know, all the, the guys that were trying to say that, uh, hey, you know what, the earth isn't the center of the universe. Yeah, that's when they did, they took away the rights for priests to, me oh, they still do that. <laughs> so we're still in the dark ages in some areas. Um... On, uh, what other, oh, I know there was one other thing. You're talking about the library selling videos. Well, I didn't say they were selling videos. You can uh, not sorry, renting you videos. Can rent videos and games and things. I've said this a long time, and I know I probably, I don't think that not-for-profits should be allowed to comp compete directly with for-profit companies, for example. I don't think that the library, which is subsidized, should be able to take business away from the guy right down the street that's legally paying taxes. Well, and why, why, why should I, with my tax dollars, subsidize a place who's loaning out videos and video games? You could go to the retail store for that. Uh, and I know that they're a sponsor and they're great people, but there was an article recently. The AAA was be is beginning to, oh, and I haven't done a lot of information, but they're opening auto care. Uh, Facilities. Have you, did you see that article a couple of weeks ago? I don't think I did. Uh, AAA is uh, going around and, and opening up. Now, I have, AAA is a not-for-profit. I've been a AAA member since I was... AAA is a private business. Yeah, but it's not-for-profit. Uh, I wouldn't bet on that. No, and I wouldn't bet on that. I'm pretty sure, just like uh, credit unions, are pri a lot of them are private businesses, but they're not-for-profit. Well, I, I don't really know how to respond. I'm assuming it, AAA is a private business. Okay, well, anyhow, I'm 99% I'm, I'm, I'm sure. The point is, I don't think that somebody that has tax, you know, they have a 40% tax advantage competing with the guy right down the street. I have a problem with that. AAA is not a subsidized organization. It's a for-profit business. American Automobile Club, it's a private business. I know, but is it for-profit or not-profit? Sure, they can. Okay, well, so anyhow... I'm pretty sure, uh, I, and John Glenn, did he ever pay those prayers back in Portage County? By no, me? no. John Glenn, who stiffed a lot of people and still owes them thousands of dollars now, has no right to make a comment on anything. I agree. And, um, and you're speaking about the, the nice la lady caller, by the way, you know, having open marriage. The nice lady who has a nice marriage to a man, and they have an open relationship where she can... Uh, have a relationship with a woman at the same time. It's part of gay chic. No, I thought when I was getting married, I got 16 wives. Four better, four worse, four richer, four... <laughs> That's a good one. I'll see you later. Thank you very much. That's a good one. If you haven't been to the...